I think I'll be okay. It's gonna be really, really rough, I think. Alright, Series 9 rules, double battle. And let's go with... Where are you? Chicago Black Flock. Alright, let's do it! <laughs> oh, and an error has occurred. Whoops. Uh... Alright, we're reconnected. Hopefully that was just a one-time thing. I don't know why we got that error. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. There is the team right here, Chicago Black Flock with the AV wheezing. Hopefully it's going to be able to pull its weight here. Let's do it. Okay. As we see, pretty much what I expected. I actually still really like the wheezing lead here along with Town Flame. I do have Strange Steam on here, so that would be fine. Uh, I'm going to go Weezing Talonflame. In the back, I think... Hmm. I could go... I think Reuniclus actually isn't too bad here. He does have a couple of things to beat it, but under Trick Room, he struggles a bit. Cradilly also isn't bad. I definitely want Dusclops, I think, just because it is just a, like a super useful Pokemon. But for my last slot, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go Reuniclus. Cradilly isn't too bad, though. Well, let's, let's just go with that. I think that's fine. I feel good about it. Um, unfortunately, I'm not leading off with Dusclops, so I can't Frisk yet. But I do really like the Talonflame lead here. And I do have Quick Guard on my Talonflame, so I'll be able to deal with it. And I'm Focus Sash, so... All right. Let me double check sign to make sure I'm not making a great mistake. So they lead off with the Durant and the Persian. All right. So, um, I think my play here, I'm going to go ahead and try to max flare this guy. And I could quick guard. But I could also, I could also switch out here into my dust clops and it wouldn't be the end of the world. I definitely think I'm going to have to take a fake out. But I could try to get a one shot. I'm going to quick guard. Try to keep my Sash. If they go into Kingdra, it's just how it is, you know. I really want to get rid of this guy as soon as possible, and I can definitely take one hit from it just because I'm Dynamaxed Weezing, and I've turned off his ability, and it looks like they might just give it to me. Because they didn't Dynamax. They could be Parting Shotting, too. Alright, let's see. Let me quick guard up here. Hopefully block a fake out. So they go for the Icy Wind. Makes sense. Rock Slide? Iron Head. I'll be able to tank that since, you know, I turned off the ability. Critical Hit kind of sucks because it essentially had the ability then. <laughs> I was going to say, that does a lot more than I expected it to. Uh, but now the sun's up, so I'm not taking too much from Kingdra's next hit. Yeah, because an airstream won't be able to KO me. I really wish they didn't crit there. Let me think. Um, Am I faster? Probably not. I could try this. I'm probably going to end up losing the wheezing. Do I have Will-O-Wisp on this Dust Clops? I already forgot. I don't. Uh, and I also don't have a way to hit this, this guy here, so that's going to be annoying for the next game. Looks like he's become my new main priority. Maybe we can outspeed still. Probably not, though. That Icy Wind was really smart.
Yeah, the Dynamax makes sense here. Is the Icy win me again? And they rock fall. Cool. I actually don't take that. Interesting. I thought I'd be able to eat that. Uh, might be... They crit. Yeah. I was going to say, Weezing's got phenomenal physical defense. I'm surprised we didn't take a non-stab rock fall. I'm not sure if that mattered too much. It depends on their item. Are they life orb? No, they're intimidate. Dang, that sucks. Um... And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get off Trick Room now. Hmm. How do I adjust here? Because I definitely lost this match. I'm going to try to get some items. Some information on the items here. And then I'm going to forfeit. Life Orb. Sash. All right. It's good information there. Uh, we don't know the item on the Durant yet. I mean, I suppose I can still try to Trick Room. I don't think it's worth it, though. No, I definitely just forfeit here. There's no way I win. So I'm going to forfeit and try to leave with the information I got. All right. GG, game one. I'm going to try to adjust here. Let me think. Um, How good is Drake Zolt in this matchup? Not amazing, but it's like... Hmm... I have to look at the team again. I still think Weezing's really important. But I have to think about how I play Weezing. I think it might not lead off this time. I think is actually going to be really useful now. Um, what I could do, what's Persian's base speed? Persian, Alola, level 50. Let's see if my wheezing out speeds. One eighty three. Ah, it's just barely faster. Maybe I should have crept for that. I could try to go trick room. I think I'm gonna do that. Um Hmm. I'm going to do something similar, but I'm actually just going to not Dynamax turn one. And I'm going to go ahead and bring Cradilly in the back. And I think along with Dust Cops, that might be my best bet, but otherwise I just lose. And I'm cool with that. This is my hardest matchup for the entire season. So hopefully, <laughs> I mean, if we manage to get out of here, then that'll be like good. You know, it gets it out of the way. But if we don't, it's it's whatever. It's, only, it's like our first week, so we can afford one loss, and I say that as I'm like about to spiral into like a, a no-win season, but more than anything, I'm, I'm more concerned with getting this one down, you know? So we did reveal Quick Guard. They didn't Dynamax last time. I think I'm just going to Flamethrower. 
and Tailwind. Because we can outspeed the, the Durant, right? I mean, if they if they Icy Wind, it's, you know, we're not going to outspeed, but it's, it's, it's whatever, you know. I actually didn't creep the Town Flame for the Persian. I know I knew that going in, but I still wanted to try just in case they weren't max speed. There's the Iron Head. Let me see if I can somehow live. Yep, no flinch. As long as I don't get flinched here, I'm happy with this outcome. There we go. Get rid of the Durant, which is great. I have some dual wing beat pressure, which is nice. Alright. So here, um, I am going to be slower than the Persian. I think I hold on to this guy. Assuming they're just going to rock fall. I could get in dust pops here and just try to stall a little bit. Uh, I think I'd like to get just a little bit of damage off on Crocodile. Even if it's just dual wing beat, it'll be worth it in the long run. And I am going to get intimidated, but I don't mind. This is mainly just to preserve Weezing a little bit longer. Because if I do end up having to go Trick Room, it'll be useful. And the fact that they're Intimidate's actually really nice for me. If they were Moxie, it'd be an issue. But depending on what's in the back, um, I might be able to make something happen with my... <laughs> with my Cradilly. Just a little bit of damage. There's the Icy Wind. And I fully expect them to have taunts on their Persian, so I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, I think I want a Pain Split, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm going to Pain Split and uh, just try to go for like a Max Overgrowth. I could even Nightshade, too. I don't know what's more useful. I think Pain Split might be better. Does Pain Split affect Dynamax? I have to double check because I haven't actually ever used Pain Split. I have to double check. <laughs> okay, it averages the non Dynamax HP, so I'm gonna. I'm still gonna click it because it still should be a decent difference. Because I'm not gonna be able to get off Trick Room. Let me go ahead and overgrowth this crocodile. I'm pretty sure I'm about to get taunted. I almost hope they double my... <laughs> Maybe I should have just nightshaded, but I was really hoping they would just double into the, um, into the, into the dust clops to prevent trick room if they didn't have taunt. I don't know. I think nightshade would have been smarter in retrospect. Definitely uh, jumped the gun there. Luckily, Cradilly's got some decent bulk on it. Especially Dynamax. Alright, let's see it. Yep, yeah, there's the taunt, figured. Max Darkness. Yeah, if they didn't go into Dust Pops, it would have been Quake. So, Pain Split would have made sense there. I don't think this is going to KO, but it'll come relatively close. Just because I'm max special attack. Ah, it's so close. That's so close. Disappointingly close, to be honest.
Okay. So I'm going to get in Weezing here. My play is just going to be to strange steam the Persian for a KO and then just go for another overgrowth. And I kind of have to hope their last Pokemon is just going to be Kingdra because that's the easiest thing to KO. I'll Quake here. I don't really need to... Uh... <laughs> I definitely don't need to go for the overgrowth. And Quake will get me back my special defense. Which could be useful. Alright, what's it going to be? Slow bro. Okay, not the end of the world. Slow bro avoids the strange team, which kind of sucks. It's going to be a very annoying endgame. Because I have the tools to beat the slow bro, but... That Persian is going to be really annoying. Alright. So here's the deal. Um, I think I definitely want the special defense boost, so... I'm going to go ahead and just Quake the, the Persian. Or maybe I just Quake the Slowbro. I think I'll just Quake the Slowbro. And then I can follow it up with a Meteor Beam and maybe KO. Because Persian doesn't have much to beat me. It's probably just full support with, like, Foul Play. And Foul Play doesn't do much, so... Maybe. I might be able to do this. Quake the bro. I'm gonna say their last move is probably like foul play or snarl or something. Parting shot. Alright, let's see if we can do this. I need to get a crit. <laughs> Calm mine. Ooh, this is going to be annoying. This is going to be a really annoying endgame. I need one crit to win, pretty much. I think I pretty much just need the one crit. Oh, that does, like, nothing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to focus the slow bro here. Uh, there isn't much of a point in going for Meteor Beams until it's just Cradley and Persian. If I manage to get to that point, I have to pretty much always just click uh, Max... Not Max Quake, but Earth Power. Because one crit could make a big difference here. Alright. Yep, keep doing that. <laughs> Ooh, the Psy Shock's actually gonna hit pretty hard. Ah, oh, man, I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this. Sandstorm's gone, so... That chip's gone, too. Um, I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure even at this point, crit won't KO. Alright, let's try it. Yep, that's game. That actually does a ton of damage. Oh, and another critical hit. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think with my heightened special defense, that actually turns into a physical attack, so... No, that was special. You can tell by the animation. So that makes sense. Alright, well, I mean, like I said, that was our hardest matchup of the entire season, pretty much. Just, you know, Colossal would never show up to that game, but <laughs> it's whatever. Uh, let me send him a GG, well played. So yeah, uh, I'm just glad to get that one done with. Um... Hopefully in the future we'll be able to, you know, use the Colossal. That was definitely not a game we ever want to bring it to, but 
Uh, yeah, I think uh, that was just nice to get out of the way. But if you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications. And uh, we'll be back with this next Sunday. Uh, this is going to go up today. We're recording today because I've had a very busy week. I essentially am working 60-hour weeks right now with research and my full-time job during the summer. So, be, you know, doing YouTube is a little difficult right now, but I'm still trying to get them out to you. So, yeah, uh, comment down below if you enjoyed, subscribe, do whatever, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.